Welcome to the counter guide of the champion with the most skin and skin potential in the game apparently. To counter her, pick someone like Talon who can kill her aggressively pretty much at any point in the game due to her extreme squishiness. Fizz can pretty much dodge her most important spell with his E and beat her to a pulp afterwards. And Yasuo's barrier can deny her much of her combo and the only way to kill you. Zed for his shadow popping, Cassidy for his mobility, and Diana for her burst and typical build make other good counters too. Lux's passive makes all of her offensive abilities mark the target she hits and she can burst this mark for extra damage with an auto attack or even her ultimate. Her Q makes her throw a sphere of light that roots the first two enemies hit, meaning you might not be safe behind the backline. Her W makes her throw her wand in a target direction, shielding her immediately and any other ally it strikes. It then returns, refreshing this shield. Her E allows her to throw a very big ball of light to a location that slows enemies standing above it and can be exploded on second cast or after 5 seconds, increasing in damage. Finally, her ultimate transforms her into Sharapova and creates a huge freaking laser with immense range that deals a lot of damage and as I said before also triggers the passive mark. Here's how to play against Luxus. Don't be caught by her Q. As for spells, Ignite is a possibility if she wants to really snowball early, but heal and barrier come to mind if she's feeling a bit more like waiting for mid-game burst and early gank survival. You on the other hand can take Ignite to burst her down quicker and even tone down her heal if she takes it. In terms of power spikes, she really shines in the mid-game. Get it? Shines? Early game lacks ability damage and late game lacks damage due to enemies protections, but if you're an AD carry you still don't want to get hit by that Q late game. Luden's Echo is a great item to aid her with her burst, and Morella Nomicon helps her deal with AD carries much easier. Although you might see Magi's if she's particularly fed. Level 2 with just Q and E is scary, but beware of 6 since now she can instant delete you. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, she becomes extremely vulnerable after missing her Q, use your mobility to dodge her engaging attempts instead of engaging yourself with it, and even if you're not playing versus her lane directly, be careful where you back when you're low health because of the range on her ultimate. Ultimately, have fun doing it.